And do young people kind of make representations of home? Um, I guess the representations that happen are, are often using the sandbox. The sand. uh -huh. So they may choose a number of, um, whether it be animals or stones or uh -huh. um, some of these Characters. figures, yeah. and create a scene in the sand. The fences get used quite a lot as well. And I won't always know what that is a representation of. Um, mm -hmm. Quite often there's battles going on or, mm -hmm. yeah, kind of good guys and bad guys. Mm -hmm. um, so not necessarily of home, but certainly, yeah, I had one client who was often making representations of kind of family days out, which was how she wanted it to be in her family rather mm -hmm. than how it actually it was. was. Yeah. yeah. And I do, do, there is um, a kind of portable doll's house that I sometimes use. I've not brought it along today, but that mm. kind of invites that mm -hmm, sort of mm -hmm. family type story yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. Well, it's interesting, like now you can see that the sandbox has an endless possibility, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. And a, a lot of, again, when children are not quite sure what to do or we're building a relationship, there's often games in the sand that involve burying um, a number of items so I need to look away whilst my client buries a certain number of items and then I need to try and find them and it just feels like quite a gentle way of building a relationship we're doing mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. non-threatening together yeah. um, that's quite playful um, mm -hmm. but about you know mm -hmm. are you following the rules are you breaking the rules can I trust you not to look when I ask you to close your eyes and, yeah 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 well, and will you find <laughs> what's you, hidden? What's hidden? Mm, I hadn't even thought of that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, we had some. Um, I was talking to a colleague who was saying, "Well, it can be a bit nerve-wracking sandbox, and oh, like it feels like a different kind of level." But it, and what would you need? But just seeing it there, in it's just a kind of very manageable box. Mm. But the. The possibilities are incredible. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I've experimented with all different boxes. I, for a while, I used a deeper box because the sand can quite easily get, you know, out of this box. Mm. And a deeper box, like this sort of depth, I guess, but a little bit wider, um, keeps the sand in a bit more. But I actually quite like the shallow one in that you can get into it a bit better. Mm. So yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So almost immediately on the table that you've set up, you've you've got something really powerful with all those possibilities. It's, mm -hmm. yeah, and fantastic. I think for a child to come into a room set up like this, it, it's immediately because they're you know they're a bit nervous and they don't know what's going to happen and just seeing some colourful stuff yeah. <laughs> yeah. and things that they can you know some some children actually don't touch any of it and they sit and talk as mm. adults would and that's fine. Um, but others will, you know, be quite creative and spend a lot of time exploring what's here. Mm. So you would have this set up before the client comes in the room? Yeah. 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 Well, because I guess the, the young person, maybe the, the parent as well, is like, oh, what's this going to be like? You know, I mean, how many clients have said, oh, I thought you were going to get me to lie in a <laughs> she's launch or yeah, yeah. they, they watch too many movies about therapy or... Yeah. Or something but to come into this it feels yeah like it could be fun or yeah, yeah. so lots of a, a box of lots of different toys oh, i'm seeing the dinosaur fantastic mm, the dinosaurs <laughs> are very oh i bet they are yeah. yeah yeah i wonder who knows what this one is that a raptor I no idea. No. I think that might be a stegosaurus. A I'm no stegosaurus. Oh, <laughs> I could be corrected. Oh, yeah. oh yes, you see, I'd forgotten it was there. Oh. oh. What does that tell you? Yeah. <laughs> it's Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh. So the dinosaur's really popular. I love this one too. I think he's a character from some Disney movie. I don't know. My clients sometimes do, but he's just got quite a look about him. <laughs> Yes. And that m maybe a child might think, oh, that's how I feel, or it could be allowing of some anger or something. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic.
Construction, fantastic. Yeah. Oh. These are pretty popular too. Oh. Yeah, so Very flexible. <laughs> yeah. They can do all sorts of tricks. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah. yeah. So you I can... can't remember. One client had it balancing in quite an amazing way on the edge of the table, but I won't try and do it now. <laughs> okay. But yeah, they're um, oh. they're good fun. Those. Yeah. Sure, he can you like that? Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic.